Hello and welcome to another episode of Mini Story. Thanks for listening to Mini Story podcast. If you'd like to take your speaking to the next level, listen carefully to the story and answer the follow-up questions. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the first episode of Mini Story Podcast. In this episode, I'll tell you a short, funny story that you should listen carefully and then answer the questions. Are you ready? Let's get started. This story is about a man called Mr. Jones. Is this story about a woman? Of course not. This story is about a man. Please make complete sentences. Don't say just no. Okay, no is very easy. Make a complete sentence. No, this story is about a man. What is the man's name? Mm -hmm. His name is Mr. Jones. Mr. Jones has a few days holiday. Does Mr. Jones have a few days holiday? Yes, Mr. Jones has a few days holiday. Does Mr. Jones go to work? No, no, no. Mr. Jones doesn't go to work because he has a few days holiday. If you have a few days holiday, you don't go to work. You relax, you go on vacation, but you don't go to the office. So he says, I go to the mountains by train. What does Mr. Jones say? Yes, he says, I go to the mountains by train. Where does Mr. Jones go? Does he go to a park? No, he goes to the mountains. How does Mr. Jones go to the mountains? Does he go by taxi? Of course not. He goes to the mountains by train. He puts on his shoes and goes to the train station. Does he put on his shorts? Of course not. He puts on his shoes and goes to the train station. Where does Mr. Jones go? Bravo. He goes to a train station. He has a beautiful hat. Does he have an ugly hat? No, no, no. Mr. Jones' hat is very beautiful. He has a beautiful hat. And he puts his head out of the window. Does he put his head out of the window? Yes, he puts his head out of the window. Suddenly, the wind pulls his hat off. Oh, no. What happens? The wind pulls his hat off. It means the wind takes his hat away. Now, is Mr. Jones happy? No, he's not happy. He's sad because the wind pulls his hat off. Mr. Jones quickly takes his old bag and throws that out of the window too. What does Mr. Jones do? He takes his old bag and throws that out of the window too. Does he throw his shoe out of the window? No, he throws his bag out of the window. People laugh. Ha, ha, ha. 
What do people do? People laugh. Do they smile? No, they don't smile. They laugh. But they ask, Does your bag bring your beautiful hat? What do people ask, Mr. Jones? Does your bag bring your beautiful hat back? No, Mr. Jones answers. What does Mr. Jones answer? He says, No. There is no name and no address in the hat. Is there a name in the hat? No, of course not. There is no name in the hat. Is there an address in the hat? Again, no, there is no address in the hat, but there is a name and there is an address in the bag. Is there a name in the bag? Yes, there is a name in Mr. Jones' bag. Mr. Jones says, Someone finds them and sends me the bag. And the hat. Does Mr. Jones say someone steals them? No, someone finds them. And what does that person do? He sends Mr. Jones the bag and the hat. Thanks for listening. That was a great, funny story. So, please, guys, what you should do now is that you should tell one of your friends, or if you don't have a friend nearby, you can tell this story to yourself. Tell this story from the beginning to the end to yourself. Thanks for listening. Have a great time. Bye.